Hey guys, you may have seen my other webcam video and I generally have an interest in webcams and privacy and I've noticed this sort of trend against privacy and uh, let me try explain with an example here. So I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm all for the cloud, I'm all for the cloud, um, especially when it empowers you, you know, having your own server in the cloud. But Unfortunately, what it generally means is massive centralization. Um, so once upon a time, webcams, you used to configure them. And as this table points out, it, it, average set of time is 45 minutes. And true, you have to configure them and you know, set up passwords and things like that. And then you access your, your, um, your captures. The problem with, well, there's pros and cons here. The pro is that your your captures are sort of private to you, and the con is that the setup time was a bit long. So now um, I get an email from YCAM saying that they're sort of depreciating the, the whole IP range and only doing the cloud. So what the cloud means, as far as I can tell, and it's pretty much the same with the their competition, that they now upload your captures onto their sort of centralized web server and they might say there's some sort of bank grade encryption or something but ultimately their sort of centralized server is protected by you know a couple of passwords and that those couple of passwords basically unlocks um, you know everyone's captures that are, are are being uploaded so it's it's like a huge central point of, of failure there if that play, if that machine or service gets compromised, you can access the videos, the private videos, of all YCAM customers. Um, to me, that just seems like a massive, massive risk. Um, so I I've been sort of like advocating for um, setting up your own cloud service. Basically, I'll give you a link to my project in the description. You can have a ha have a look at it. But the major problem, as you can see by my FOSCAM video, is setting up the camera to point to that cloud service of yours is a huge pain in the ass. And unfortunately, no uh, no, no webcam manufacturer has, has really made that, uh, that, that easy, as far as I can tell. There is this sort of industry standard, whatever, uh, initiative, perhaps, uh, called um, Onviv, and I've tried to learn more about it, but they asking for sort of uh, membership and none of the information on their website is sort of, you know, intelligible. It seems, um, it seems like one of those horrible things we have to pay to play. And there's basically no clear anything from them, sadly. So if there was a standard to say, you know, drop in this configuration file, um of a of a for to configure this webcam you bought i think the world would be much much better having a centralized server it's it's damn convenient i could i i would i would shoot for it if i if i didn't know better but you must see the risk if 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 foscam's um ptp server as i mentioned got compromised you can look at everyone's webcam and similarly, if the if the Y camera cloud service got compromised, you can look at every Y cam capture. That's that's a huge privacy invasion. Um, so I really hope um, this message gets out, and perhaps perhaps maybe privacy will be get better. Maybe. Oh dear. Oh dear.